When searching for new style ideas, sometimes the best place to look is in the past. I'm Stacy, And I'm Amy from Ricci Hair Company. Today we're going to cover vintage hairstyling with a modern twist. When creating vintage styles, it's really important to make sure that you have a good curl set. Um, the way I'm creating the modern twist is by also using a crimping iron. By put it, placing a little bit of a crimp into the regrowth area, into the root area here, I create more volume in my style. So you want to go ahead, crimp the regrowth area, and then we're going to use the curling iron and set. What we're going to do, it's a little bit more of an editorial look that we're doing on her today. So once we have the set in and it's it's cooled off, we're going to comb it through and create a really messy editorial finger wave look on her. For Madison's hair, we're creating a finger wave faux bob. In order to create finger wave look, you want to make sure that you set the hair alternating curls. So the first row of curls you create will be up, the second row will be rolling down, and then the next row will be rolling up. And you just want to alternate as you go up the hair. We have curly in here. On here we're doing more of a sleek look than our previous one. This is more of an everyday wearable style. So we're curling all of the hair forwards towards her face because that's the way we want the set to turn out. And we're doing a small victory roll just in the front here to add a little bit more of that vintage feel. So it'll be a soft wave with a victory roll. After we finished Madison's set, I dropped all the clips, uh, let the curls go loose, and I formed them into finger waves and just clipped them like this, sprayed a little bit more and let it dry. So when we take this out, we have it sitting in that finger wave shape and then we're just gonna take a bobby pin to clip it back. With Kira, we've already set her hair and we've given her, we've backbrushed it so we have more of an editorial feel. And I'm just gonna show you how to go in and do something really simple uh, and create a roll to give it like a modern vintage feel. So we've just created a little back brushing at the regrowth, at the root area there to give a bit of volume. And then I'm gonna take this here and I'm just going to grab a section and we're just gonna twist back like this. 